We're joined now uh, by a award-winning playwright and a lecturer in theater and playwriting at Oakland University. Kitty Dubman joins us now on the Michigan Megacast. Kitty, thank you for being with us. Hi, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Appreciate having you on. So uh, can you tell us about your uh, playwriting career Bef before you got to uh, Oakland University and as you've been at Oakland University? Tell us a little bit about your career and, and how it led you to ultimately teaching the next generation of playwrights about your craft. Well, um, two things. I've always been a teacher. Uh, I started out actually in uh, Cleveland, Ohio as a middle school teacher and then moved to Detroit 52 years ago uh, when I was two years old. Haha, <laughs> only kidding. Um, and then um, got my master's degree. And um, so I have always loved teaching. But um, I started writing plays when I was uh, got my master's degree at Wayne State and had to write a play. It won a contest. It was produced. And I thought, wow, uh, this is something I can do. So I, I started pursuing uh, playwriting uh, at the same time as teaching. And the, the two, my two passions finally merged uh, when I approached Oakland in 1997 to teach. And I've been continuing with my own career at the same time I've been teaching for these past 25 years at Oakland. So uh, playwriting, much like any kind of writing, that there is a different formula, there is a different approach that goes into writing a stage play versus a screenplay, writing a screenplay or a stage play versus a novel or, or a short story. So for you, where does your process start as you're devising a story and ultimately building that characterization and building that plot for the stage? Well, I, I, I want to just pick up on what you just said because the first thing I do in my classes is differentiate between a play script and a novel and a screenplay because those kids have seen a million movies, read a million novels, and probably seen one or two plays maybe in their lives. So it's really important because a play is its own animal. Um, you, you, and it, it's separate. It has similar story elements, but it's it's very different. Um, because when you're reading something, you can you know like take your time, and you know go back a few paragraphs if you haven't understood something. But a play comes at you very very fast, and you have to digest it as you're going along. So that's very important. But. Um, what I stress with my students is uh, really telling a story through dialogue, because it's all dialogue, um, of someone going through some kind of journey of change, where they're a little bit different by the end of the play than they are when they start the play. We're joined by Kitty Duman, award-winning playwright and lecturer in playwriting at the uh, at Oakland University in their theater department, joining us on the MegaCast. And it's such an important, the writing is so important in any form of, of entertainment, especially in original storytelling, whether it be for the stage or for the screen, whatever the case may be, uh, the writing is really where it starts. And I don't re recall who it was that I... I had heard say this, but I was watching an interview at some point. No, it was Brian Cranston. I was watching some interview years ago with Brian Cranston who explained what made Breaking Bad such a great show and what made Malcolm in the Middle and other programs he's been on so yeah. excellent. And he said, you can have really great performance, but really great performance is never going to overshadow bad writing. Good writing can overshadow bad performance, uh, but it won't. But it won't be as good. And when the two co coalesce, you have something that's truly excellent, and that's why it's so important for this next generation of people that are going into uh, show business, particularly for the theater, that they understand the importance of high-quality writing and putting on these great stage plays. And so, when you arrived at Oakland University in 1997, there was no playwriting. Uh, class, there was no playwriting program at Oakland University, and so for you, as you were envisioning what the needs would be for these future playwrights, given the context of your career up until that point, and, and as you've progressed through your career and your teaching career as well, how has that program then been developed and then changed over the years 
to make sure that these students understand just how important playwriting is to the theater. Oh, there's so much in there. Yeah. Um, I am a huge believer in um, structure. Uh, a play, you know, they talk about a, a script having good bones, and a play really has to have good bones and really follow. Uh, it has to have all the elements of structure, a protagonist, an antagonist, rising action, all these things that you kind of learn in high school, but how to implement those things is another story. Um, so I really stress that. And, um, and then it's changed so much over the years because, oh my goodness, I remember the first year I taught someone wrote a play about coming out. Oh my gosh, that was like, huh? You know, that subject really hadn't been explored. Well, now that, not saying that would be, play would be passe, but it's, it's, it's evolved so much in the culture. So uh, students are writing about different things, we're reading different uh, plays as examples, um, but I pretty much have stuck all the way through because of my own studies in playwriting and my own learning, you know, as a professional playwright and going to see so many plays, hundreds and hundreds of plays, what works and what doesn't. And that's what I like to share with my students, both my professional realm and my craft realm. I mean, besides just my master's degree, I've taken many, many different classes from playwrights in, you know, how to write plays. So theater has changed, entertainment has changed, and, and certainly the people that are in the industry has changed over the course of, of many years, uh, e even in just the last few years. And so over the 25 years that you've been teaching playwriting at Oakland University, how has your approach then had to be modified to A, the changing paradigms in show business and, and how that context provides uh, guidance for the future of playwriting, but also for the changes in how students learn and how ultimately this next generation of writers are going to be approaching their craft. Yes, well, again, I really like to stress the, the model of structure because um, a lot of kids come in and think, oh, I can be very abstract and I like to be mysterious and I don't want to pander to the audience. And they don't realize it's not pandering to make it clear what you're talking about. Um, so again, structure, character, dialogue, making sure characters are relatable, uh, that one can follow the dialogue. And what we do in class is replicate the process that professional playwrights go through, which is after they've written a first draft, the class, the person, the playwright casts the play within the class and we read it out loud and then discuss what is working and then what needs to be fixed in a rewrite. And then they go back and rewrite because it is so different from short story or novel where you just read the play silently. You don't know until you read a play aloud because that's how it's intended to be presented, what's working or not. You find out, oh, that was funny, or I thought it was funny, but then it isn't funny when we read it, or that didn't land. I thought I was communicating that, but something is missing, and then you find you have to add something or you need more exposition because you didn't realize the couple was married or they, you know, whatever. So you learn your, your reading aloud in the class is like your biggest rewrite tool because that tells you what you need to attend to in your rewrite. Yeah, collaboration is so important in any form of entertainment, really in any industry, especially yeah. in, in today's world. And, and so having that opportunity to go through those rewrites, to get that vision of yours out there and have other people look it over, but also to, as you said, visualize the writing 
uh, as it's meant to be delivered, and that's a good good guidance uh, for rewriting and for further building your story. We're joined by Kitty Dubin, award-winning playwright and lecturer at Oakland University in theater and playwriting, joining us on the Michigan Megacast. This is really interesting, uh, and and, I, and it's close to my heart because it, it has parallels to some, something I participated in, uh, in when I was in college at, at Michigan State. Uh, in uh, between their communications department and their theater department. It was a, a project called Theater to, theater to Film, where uh, students would write a screenplay that would then be converted into a stage play or vice versa, and it would be, con and it would be produced both as a stage play and then uh, shot as a feature film, and later, uh, and later would be uh, then uh, showed at the Traverse City Film Festival. Very similar okay. thing hap has happened over at Oakland University that you've been involved with. Uh, you and the late professor Tom Suda, who was teaching directing, uh, came together to, to pre present a showcase where directing students would work with uh, playwriting students to collaborate and produce a play together. Can you talk about your collaboration with Tom Suda in, per in, in uh, creating this program and then the impact of a program like this on the education of theater students really across the board wherever area of interest in the theater that they're looking to go into well yeah i i since i've been teaching there i have always been on the lookout for places where these plays that my students are writing can be performed in front of an audience i mean it's one thing to read it in the class it's another thing to have an to be in front of an audience and just besides Oakland, um, my students have had plays in many, many festivals all throughout Michigan theaters and beyond. But at Oakland, um, I approached Tom Suda because he was teaching the directing class. And, you know, each director was always directing a, a play from a book of plays. And I said, why don't your directing students, each one direct one of my student written plays. So he, we did that for a few semesters and then Professor Suda passed away. And then I looked around again and this past year, um, I did this, the same thing with Professor David Graham, where, um, and what was great about that is his directing students were showcased, my playwriting students were showcased, and the Oakland actors were showcased. And there, I cannot tell you what a thrill it is when you are starting to write plays and you have one performed in front of an audience and you get the response that you intended to have. Yeah, and it's great opportunities too for these students to collaborate and to build those partnerships, build those relationships with who will be their colleagues in their profession in, in theater. Because uh, there was a saying that we were that I was told when I was in, in school at Michigan State, and, and when working mostly on the film side of things, that it's a small, it's a big world, but it's a small world. And I think that yeah. applies to anywhere in entertainment. Having those opportunities to build those relationships, I mean, those can be great partnerships, or at the very least, help you hone your skills in one area that may be lacking or may need some improvement while you're helping somebody else. And that kind of collaboration, can you speak to how important that is really to bolstering the education and the purpose of classes like yours and classes like David Graham's and, and the late Tom Sudo's in building this next generation of theater professionals. Totally. And, and it's a wonderful, it's like, I, I you know, there is none of that, um, like when we just have our discussion, our feedback sessions about the plays, I've never had anyone be snarky or mean. Um, they are ex extremely uh, generous in their praise when it is uh, warranted. And they are also very honest and direct when they find something that isn't clear or needs to be bolstered or whatever. And it, it's, it's really like a supportive little creative village um, of souls. Uh, really, everybody's sort of rooting for each other to be able to produce their best work. We're joined by Kitty Dubin, an award-winning playwright and a professor and a lecturer at Oakland University in in theater and in playwriting. Joining us on the MegaCast, and so uh, you have had a long career in playwriting. You've met a lot of people over the years and taught a lot of people over the years that are professionals in theater and are professional playwrights themselves. For those that may not be Oakland University students or may not be able to take your class, but are interested in playwriting, do have a, a, a passion for playwriting, want to be a playwright themselves. What is your lasting advice for for those 
those people as they look to start their playwriting journey and maybe even build a career in theater playwriting? They have to learn what the form is <laughs> first. I mean, I know a, a few people actually in town who um, were screenwriters or prose writers and they wrote a play and these are really good writers and they sent them to me for feedback, you know, and what was shocking to me is here they are professional writers, but they're play they weren't plays. So the first thing is they really have to know how a play differs from other forms of writing. And I always give my students a bibliography. There are a million, not a million, but there are quite a few good playwriting books that you know, delineate what you have to have and what elements are, have to be in a play and how it differs. So I would say to anyone, either take a class or at least read a book so you actually know what a play should be. Because I know a lot of theaters get submissions and those they're just not plays and they're going to be tossed out before the first paragraph's read. Kitty, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.